Hi, welcome to this webinar on the MedStart program. So today we're going to talk about uh, the MedStart program at the University of Toledo, uh, talk about what that program is, uh, who, need, who can apply, and talk about the advantages of applying through this program. So the MedStart program is a uh, early decision program, meaning that you can apply to the University of Toledo Medical School uh, through our application system directly to us and be accepted while being a junior in college, meaning that you can uh, have a decision as to which medical school you're going to attend um, a year before your colleagues would be applying to medical schools through uh, the AMCAS application service. Um, so the advantages of this program uh, not only are that you get a decision uh, as uh, an, uh, an, a reserve seat in medical school one year early, uh, but an additional advantage is that you, through this program, you don't need to uh, have an MCAT score. So because of the fact that we're accepting people who are juniors in college um, early in their junior year, uh, we don't require the MCAT, uh, nor do we look at the MCAT score or use the MCAT in part of the decision process. So if you were accepted into the MedStart program without an MCAT and then you decided to take it and it didn't go well, we wouldn't use that score to change the decision. So MCAT score uh, not used at all. Uh, instead, what we use for the decision-making process uh, is very high undergraduate GPAs in the region of like 3.9-ish and also high SATs and ACT scores. Um, so let's just talk a second about what it means to be accepted into the program. Um, if you're accepted into the MedStart program, uh, you need to commit to attending the University of Toledo Medical School. So what does it mean to commit to attend? Uh, it means that you can um, not apply to other medical schools and also keep your seat reserved in our class. So you have to choose one or the other. So you, you can apply to the MedStart program being accepted and you can still apply to other schools should you choose to. There's no financial uh, penalty or anything like that. We're not going to um, be upset with you should you decide to apply to other schools. However, the, the, at the time that you apply to other schools, you're essentially withdrawing from the MedStart program. Um, so you are welcome to apply to other schools, but you can't keep your reserve seats. However, should you decide that you want to actually attend the University of Toledo after being accepted, um, you don't need to do anything. You just need to complete your undergraduate degree and then you will um, matriculate here um, once you have completed uh, your degree. And then finally, another advantage to the program is that you get to speak, uh, you get to spend just under two weeks on this campus, on this beautiful uh, medical school campus here in uh, Toledo, Ohio. So um, uh, that's another great advantage, lots of uh, good experiences um, that we'll have arranged for you at the time uh, that you come and visit us. Uh, visit us. Uh, so at this point, let's introduce our other speakers who are current MedStart and um, medical school students here at the University of Toledo. So I would like to introduce you to uh, our um, second year medical students who came in through the MedStart program, Mega, Scott and Russell, welcome. Hey, thanks so much. Uh... Dr. Pearson just said, my name is Russell. You can see it right here now. This is like the coolest technology I think I've ever seen in my life. So um, I'm a part of um, a medical school class with uh, these two friends of mine below. And um, we are both, uh, or sorry, the three of us are all med starters. So we're here to chat with you guys a little bit about our story and how we kind of learned about MedStart and some of our experiences. And we hope we can um, assure you guys that you've made a wonderful decision by applying and uh, hopefully accepting your offer to be a med starter as well. So a little bit about me, um, I was in an acapella group in my freshman year of undergrad and I was singing with my friends and all of a sudden one of my buddies comes in and says, oh, you know, I just applied to medical school today. And I, that sounded strange to me because he's a, he was a junior at the time, you know, he had only completed um, his first two years, he had two more years to go, you know, we all know that everyone is freaking out about medical school applications in their final year. So I, I said, how, how is this possible? You know, are you graduating early? And what's, what's the scoop? He said, no, there's this program in Toledo. It's called MedStart. And they actually take people without their MCAT score and uh, they accept you as a junior. So uh, you, you'll know uh, like in 12 or 18 months before any of, any of your classmates that you've been accepted to medical school. And I said, oh, that seems like a like almost like it's too good to be true. And at the time I had 
no idea about Toledo or really anything that was going on up in Northwest Ohio. I was clear on the other side of the state. So um, sure enough, uh, several months later, my, my buddy had been accepted and he's, uh, he's now a fourth year medical student applying to residency. And uh, he, he's a, he's a med star. And I said, Oh, this is, this is just insane. I, I absolutely have to start looking into this. And, you know, I was an engineering student, like, you know, my buddy Scott down here is going to tell you in a little bit, he was too. And, so we were we were maybe not thinking of medical school at first, but you know, as our as our own experiences came together and we decided that we wanted to be physicians, just like any other medical student, we really started to look at this program. And so Toledo really became a strong option for me because I really wanted this assurance that I was not going to have to spend the last eight months of my undergraduate career reaming through all these applications and and worrying about traveling the state or even the country uh, looking at these uh, different schools Toledo has always had a really strong reputation I was definitely super eager to learn more about the medical school but also this uh, this program so uh, upon applying you know we we get called for an interview and obviously you're already through the roof and you get called for an interview so you go into this interview and uh, you meet these prospective MedStar candidates and, and they already they already narrow you down to a very small pool. So unlike the unlike the normal medical school application cycle where you're interacting potentially with uh, you know hundreds or, or even thousands of applicants depending on the school, um, there in front of me are, are 22 or 23 students and uh, we all meet each other. We uh, start a little group chat where we get to text each other after the interview and and, and sure enough we start um, really becoming almost friends right just in that short amount of time and I think that was really where Toledo first became set apart in my mind to me uh, you have this school that really prides themselves on a community that they form around each other and it's so unlike other medical schools where academic rigor and beating the the people around you becomes very important but um, with the curriculum changes that the university has gone through here in Toledo and the fact that we use a pass-fail curriculum and and do not um, have to depend on our grades and our didactic two years for our uh, class rank or, or any of those metrics you really start to feel an appreciation for the people around you instead and you're really able to develop really close friendships and study groups um, I mean, for crying out loud, uh, Mega and I could uh, crush any karaoke competition in the state, and Scott is one of the groomsmen at my wedding. And so here you go, you have, uh, you know, two of some of my strongest friends in life, and it's, uh, it's just not common that you meet strong friends at medical school, because uh, you're supposed to be competing to eat with each other. That's what everyone tells you. Uh, but MedStart gave us an opportunity uh, 18 months before we started medical school. Uh, to, to not just know each other, but to become friends. And, and so through years of playing tennis and singing at Mexican food, uh, you know, trivia nights, we, we have become uh, more than just students together in, in a medical school class. So I hope some of those stories I share with you encourage you that, you know, medical school is very challenging, but we've really had an opportunity to enjoy something extremely unique by being a part of the MedStar class. We have, we came into our orientation days and we, oh my goodness, we already knew 13 other, 14 other students. And we sat next to each other up in the back of that hall and, and everyone was wondering how the heck do these people know each other already? How do they already know where all their classes are? How do they know some of these professors? Uh, what do you mean these people have already gotten lectures like med school lectures in these two weeks over the summer? Uh, I started to realize that kind of the University of Toledo College of Medicine focuses a lot of their effort on these MedStart classes. And, and it's kind of like a little running joke we have with each other. The school is kind of made for us to some degree. We just, we just get this, we kind of get the backdoor key and we get to see the anatomy labs. We get to look at the cadavers and we get to look in, in and peek inside of these classroom settings. And we, we just get the scoop. Uh, I, I don't know of another experience that really gives you such a unique opportunity. I mean, you hear about BSMD programs where, you know, you do two years of undergrad and then you come into medical school, but still, I don't, th I don't think that any program is quite like MedStart in how they integrate you into the medical school before you start climbing that ladder. 
And so, so yeah, you know, I, I get those prereqs done and out of the way once I get accepted. And, and so, and so now here we are and we're all in our uh, second year, as you can see in our little banners here, um, getting ready to take, you know, our, our first uh, licensing exams. And we're super eager about that too, because our MedStart classes are routinely averaging much higher on board exams, as well as in the classroom. We're routinely seen as leaders amongst our peers. We're all holding review sessions, leading organizations on campus, um, running free clinics. And so we have all these opportunities on top of the wonderful things that Toledo has to offer our students uh, right here in the MedStar program, things that really will set you apart within your class, but also nationally. So, you know, my emails down here, you'll see all of our emails too. We want you to reach out to us if you have any questions from a student perspective. Uh, but without further ado, I want to introduce you to one of my dear friends, Mega, who's going to talk to you a little bit about her experiences. Hi, my name is Mega, as Russell mentioned. Thank you for that introduction, Russell. So as Russell mentioned, the MedStart program at University of Toledo is honestly one of the best kept secrets that, in my opinion, it's so good to be true. And I've really enjoyed all of my experiences thus far. And I think I can attribute a lot of our successes to the MedStart program. So a little introduction about myself. So I was actually born and raised in Kansas, and then I attended school at Brown University out in Rhode Island. And so my introduction to the MedStart program was a little unorthodox compared to a lot of the students in Ohio. So since I was from Kansas, I didn't actually have any strong connections to Ohio or University of Toledo at the time that I applied. So the way that I actually found the program was the summer before my junior year, I was actually Googling some early assurance programs around the country and I came across the one at University of Toledo called MedStart. And obviously I had very little information about the program at the time, but after doing some research on Toledo, interviewing with Toledo and experiencing campus and our MedStart program, I actually realized that the MedStart program in University of Toledo as a whole was actually a really great fit for me. I was excited to come back to the Midwest being from Kansas originally, and I really think my experiences in Ohio have shaped um, not only my views as a student, but also the way that I'll be as a practicing physician in the future. So I'm forever grateful for that Google search and coming across the MedStart program because I honestly think it's one of the best things that's ever happened to me. So I'd like to share a little bit about my summer experience during the MedStart program. So as Dr. Pearson and Russell both mentioned, after you're accepted to the MedStart program, you have about a two week long internship at University of Toledo. And not only is that a really great way to meet some of your peers and some of your future, future medical school classmates, but I also thought it was a really great way to get a sneak peek into what it's like to be a medical student. So it was obviously a very fun organized two weeks, but a lot of that, um, actually prepared us for what it's like to be a medical student. So one of my favorite experiences as a MedStart was we got to interview some standardized patients. So if you're not familiar with what a standardized patient is, they're basically community members from Toledo who come in with basically a made up health history and we have the opportunity to interview them. So in my past experience, and I'm sure a lot of pre-med students as well, we didn't have a lot of face time with patients. And so this is one of our first clinical experiences and the MedStart program really allowed us to get in the habit of interviewing and seeing what it's like to interview with the patient. And those are all really great skills to develop um, that we will develop in our first year of medical school. But I thought that was a great opportunity to get a head start on that. Another really great clinical experience that I thought um, was really beneficial to me during the MedStart program was this heart sounds workshop that we had. So we got to meet one of our first professors named Dr. Bodai, who gave us these, these really cool stethoscopes that were connected to like these sound boxes. And so Dr. Bodai was able to control these sounds that, were he that we were hearing in the stethoscope. So we got to hear what a murmur sounds like, what a gallop sounds like, what a rub sounds like. And those are all experiences that you don't actually get to have until you start medical school. And so having that MedStart program really felt like it gave us a head start and it really prepared us for what to expect when we started our first year of medical school. And then also I'd like to touch a little bit on the application process. So the application is pretty standard, except for the fact that we don't have to take the MCAT, which is 
obviously a huge plus. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And the application process was obviously the standard resume, um, your previous activities, your interests, etc. And the bulk of the application was our personal statement as well as two supplementary essays. And I thought that the essay portion was honestly my favorite part of the application. And the reason I liked it so much was that all medical students are obviously extremely qualified, have a really comprehensive resume, and all really would make great physicians in the future. But I thought in the application, our personal statement was such a great opportunity to show what we are like as humans. And that's such a large component of being a future physician. And so in my essays, I felt like I was able to express my personhood as well as why I thought I would be a good addition to the, the student body at University of Toledo. So uh, for an example of how I thought I showed my human qualities and why I thought I would be a good physician in the future was a personal statement about someone who I was very fond of named Woody. So in high school and in college, I volunteered at a nursing home in Wichita, Kansas, and I volunteered in the memory care unit of this nursing home. And so I would bring my clarinet once a week and I would play different songs for the residents. And I became very fond of one resident named Woody, who also apparently played the clarinet as a child. And Woody had pretty strong dementia. And so I would come weekly and it was really hard for me to see Woody every week. And I was extremely fond of him, but I noticed that every week he wasn't necessarily able to remember me. However, as the weeks progressed and the more time I came, Woody started to remember me and he'd talk about how he wrote about me in his journal and things like that. And so Woody and I developed a really strong bond. And I think that's the kind of empathy and uh, bond that you can form between humans that is really valuable as a future physician. And so I was able to show that connection with Woody and show how I thought that made me prepared for medical school. And so that's, that's just an example of what you can include in your application. I think it's a really great opportunity to show what you're like as a human. And I know for a lot of people, applying to the MedStart program can be a little daunting in the sense that it's extremely competitive, but also it's binding. So once you're accepted to the MedStart program, as Dr. Pearson mentioned, um, you lose the opportunity to apply elsewhere. And while that might seem like a downfall for some people, I actually consider that to be like one of the largest pluses of the program. So we were accepted to, into medical school during our junior year, and that provided us about a year and a half to have been committed to University of Toledo before starting it. And I think that year and a half was a really great opportunity, not only to relieve a lot of the stresses involved with medical school applications, but it was also really great because it allowed me to immerse myself in different extracurriculars and different classes that I never would have had the opportunity to if I was studying for the MCAT or if I was still trying to complete my pre-med requirements. So it really gave me the opportunity to immerse myself in activities like my dance team. And I know that that allowed Russell to really immerse himself in his acapella group. And I think a lot of those experiences are extremely valuable. And, and I think they really shape the way that we'll be as future medical students as well as physicians. So I think that year and a half of having that confirmed um, spot at University of Toledo was a great stress reliever, but also a really great opportunity to really to really explore a lot of different things that you might not have ever had the time to. And so I really could not be more grateful of the MedStart program and Dr. Pearson, as well as the fellow board that allowed us onto this MedStart program. I've met some of my best friends, as Russell's mentioned, and it's really been great, a great way to enter medical school being feeling prepared, as well as with a really great group of friends. And so with that, I'd like to hand it over to Scott and have you share your story if you'd like. All right, so thank you, Meg, I appreciate it. So as she said, I'm Scott. I'm also a second year student, as you can see on the little thing up here. Um, so the way I found out about the MedStar program was my freshman year of college. I went to Ohio State, I'm from Ohio. And my RA named Nick, who is now a fourth year student here, also very similar to Russell, like applied to this program. He got into medical school, uh, like in during spring break of his uh, junior year of college. And I was like, well, that's cool. That sounds awesome. So I, I put it as a bookmark. I, I, I looked it up on Google. I put it as a bookmark. And I was like, when the time comes, I'm definitely going to apply to this program. So um, I, you know, 
the time came for me to apply. I applied, uh, got an interview and everything. So like Russell said, coming to the interview, it was like super shocking to kind of see like the 20 people that they selected to interview and kind of meet them, and interact with them. And that's where I met Russell. Uh, like I remember him coming in. I was like, oh my gosh, this guy's going to get in the medical school. <laughs> And then you meet Mega and she's super smart. You're like, she has no problem. Like, what am I going to do? How am I going to impress these people? But anyways, I ended up coming. Uh, I got accepted and uh, really never looked back since. So um, as far as like getting accepted, like Mega said, it is like literally the most relieving thing in the world. Um, I remember I was walking to my first final exam um, of my semester for my hardest class of the semester I was a chemical engineering major so it was like mass and heat transport which Russell probably took something similar and can probably attest that it was also um, horrible <laughs> but like getting getting that type of message um, like it kind of made me realize like okay like I'm in a medical school and you know there's definitely pressure to do well but there's a lot like less pressure you know, to like outcompete everybody else now, um, because I mean, everyone uh, who is a pre-med or something like realizes and understands that it is just, it feels like you're always competing and it can get really tiring. So, you know, like I got accepted and it was just like really nice to kind of be able to relax, honestly, while I, I saw like all my friends kind of have to go through the difficult process of you know, paying thousands of dollars, flying to these places, driving to these places, paying for all these hotels, and then maybe getting one response, maybe. And even then, like a lot of them would have to take a gap year or something. So, you know, it, it is like, I, I got accepted. I just trained, I trained for a marathon. And then senior year, I got a job as a tutor and I got to do that like on the university. And the entire time I just got to enjoy like myself um, and, you know, just like grow and, and, and not have to worry about getting into medical school. So um, it was awesome to get accepted early. And like Mega also touched on this, the, the stress of like having to commit um, to University of Toledo. I can like personally guarantee you, you are not settling for anything. Like this is, this is literally as good as it gets. We, um, I, a few years ago, or not even a few years ago, maybe last year, there was the, at, at the Cleveland Clinic, one of the most regarded hospitals in the nation, if not the world, um, they accept three orthopedic surgeons at an incredibly competitive specialty every year. Two of them came from the University of Toledo. You know that people from, you know, big time Ivy League universities, even universities on the other side of the world applied to that exact program and they accepted, two, two out of the three were accepted from the University of Toledo, which I think just that alone kind of speaks to um, the strengths of this program, um, not only MedStart, but just the University of Toledo College of Medicine as a whole. Um, it, is, it is such an awesome program. They have a very holistic approach to the way um, that they do medicine. It's not, you know, this is one size fits all. It's, it's everybody comes in. Um, it's a very equitable environment with the way that they promote their education. And like, I, I can guarantee that you will be successful coming to this program. So um, I, I just really want to say the University of Toledo College of Medicine and Life Sciences has provided like such an incredible opportunity, especially with the MedStar program. Um, you're definitely not like, again, you're definitely not settling for anything. This is a phenomenal program that is growing more and more every year. Um, and it has just been really an, an awesome opportunity. And like Russell said, I, he, I, he's having me as uh, one of the groomsmen at his wedding. He's a groomsman at my wedding. And then my other friend that I met at the MedStar program, he's a best man in my wedding. And like, like th these are like literally my best friends that I've ever met um, coming through this program, meeting them at the summer program that Dr. Pearson talked about um, you know, it, it's just an awesome experience and like, I, you'll have an awesome experience, uh, going through this program. So, um, that's the end for what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to transition now to Dr. Pearson to kind of wrap things up. Yeah. So Scott, I'll be expecting the, uh, wedding invitations sometime soon. Uh, 
but uh, yeah, I'm glad to see that everyone's doing so well. And uh, I was I was going to ask you, you know, whether there's you know been any disadvantage of of not having an MCAT, but pretty much already know the answer is that you know. Uh, students are coming out of the program and you know once you're in medical school no one asks uh, you, you never need the MCAT after that so there's the, there's really no uh, there's no no need to ever think about well what am I going to do in the future when someone asks me if I what you know what how I did on the MCAT uh, you didn't need it and you got accepted to medical school anyway based on you know your excellent applications and uh, it doesn't really cause it doesn't really cause anybody any problems so I got to talk about some of the details uh, for applying. Uh, try and answer some of the questions that we get commonly uh, commonly asked uh, about who should apply and and how uh, how the application system works. Um, so we'll start off with the, um, the 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 most common question that we get is uh, what do you mean by junior? Okay, so we know that different universities like define the, the term junior in different ways. Uh, so for us, um, it's to do with the timeline at which uh, you are at currently in school. Uh, and how long it's going to be before you graduate because we expect you to be able to matriculate into medical school uh, in just under two years from the time at which you apply so uh, we call that that you're, you're, you're a junior at the time of we apply we don't it doesn't matter whether your school considers you a junior or not the important thing is that uh, in the year that you apply um, you have just under two years left so you'll be in the beginning uh, the application cycle for this program uh, one's from July the 1st, so pretty close to the beginning of your academic year, um, to October the 1st. So during that time, um, you would be at the beginning of your um, second to last year of university, whatever your school wants to call that. So you apply between June, uh, Jan, uh, July and October. Um, you will be interviewed uh, not long after that. We, we try to get the decisions to you as soon as possible so that you can be preparing yourself for uh, spending that time, time, that two weeks of the summer program. We know that you're all very busy and that if, if we don't give you that decision, the chances are you're going to be planning to do research that year or um, planning to travel around the world or you know just do something else that's gonna really build up an application for medical school. Um, so. Uh, we want to get those uh, decisions to you as soon as possible um, and then you know you go back once you've got your decision you'll you'll finish off your um, your senior year your final year of, of undergraduate university um, it's not necessary for you to have all of the prerequisites for medical school at the time you apply obviously we know that you are applying um, at the beginning uh, at the beginning of your junior year in college so you're not going to have organic chemistry one and two necessarily you may not have had physics one and two um you know so you may not have had biochemistry yet that's okay um we'd like to see as many of those prerequisites as possible at the time you apply but we really don't expect to have all of them uh prerequisites are basically the things that you have to have before you matriculate but that doesn't mean you have to have them before you apply um so what else have we got so um uh, as I mentioned, uh, the deadline is October the 1st. Uh, keep an eye on our website uh, from year to year. That deadline might uh, move around a bit, uh, depending on uh, what's going on in the world around us. We may have to change that deadline. So uh, feel free to uh, check it out on our website. Uh, if you Google uh, MedStat, uh, Utilido, you will find this program. Um, we should be like the first one to pop up in the list. Uh, what you need to apply, is pretty much exactly the same things that you would need to apply to any other medical school. Um, our application is going to be laid out just like an AMCAS application. Um, so we're looking for experiences, we're looking for community service, maybe some research, uh, maybe some medical experience like being a scribe or doing some shadowing um, or going on a mission trip. Uh, medical mission trip. So we're looking for all of those experiences um, that other medical schools are looking for and our application is laid out just like a regular uh, MCAS application. We're, we also require you to have a personal statement uh, and we want three letters of recommendation. Uh, so those three letters of recommendation, they don't need to be, we don't have any very specific rules on who should write those. Um, so feel free to look up uh, any recommendations online as to who would be a good letter writer for a medical school application. Um, no specific rules on who those three should be. 
but those letters of recommendation need to be um, in our office um, and in your application uh, by October the 1st. Uh, we also need your official transcript. So start um, asking your school, how do you get an official transcript? Uh, you may be able to electronically transfer it directly to us. If that's possible, then that's great. If not, uh, it needs to be mailed to us and we need to get that uh, by October the 1st for your application um, to meet the deadline. Um, so what are we looking for in terms of academics? I kind of mentioned this, like we're expecting uh, high GPAs and high MCAT. So an average student in our class typically um, is running a GPA, undergraduate GPA at graduation of about three, six to three, seven. But in the MedStat, in the MedStat application, uh, most of our students are approximately like 3.9 GPAs when they apply. So somewhere in the range of like 3.75 to four GPAs. Uh, with like 3.8 to 3.9 being the average. Uh, and we're also, since we're not using the MCAT, we need to have some way to verify that if you had taken the MCAT, you would have done very well. So, so how do we do that? We use uh, SATs and SATs. So medical schools generally do not look at SATs and SATs. We're one of the only programs that uh, are gonna ask you to send us your, um, your transcripts for that. Uh, but we do have very high expectations of what those scores should be. So um, students that matriculate into the MedStart program, students that apply successfully, typically running around about 97 to 99th percentile on either the SAT or the ACT. We don't require both. Um, we have no preference to whether you have an ACT or an SAT, um, but we are looking for very high scores. Uh, and they, they really need to be that high to be seriously considered um, into the, into the uh, application and getting, uh, getting accepted. Because as I said, we are, we're accepting people without an MCAT. Uh, that is a very rare opportunity. Uh, and we need to make sure that we're accepting people that are gonna be successful in medical school because it doesn't benefit you or us if you are accepted into medical school and then you struggle uh, and uh, maybe you drop out of medical school or you have to repeat years. You know, medical school is expensive and it's not good for anybody if uh, we drag that experience out or if it doesn't work out. Um, so, you know, that's pretty much uh, what I needed to tell you about with the MedStat program. Uh, guys, uh, did I miss anything serious here? Is there anything, anything else anybody wants to, uh, wants to add? You know, I'm pretty bad at like missing out, missing out something, Russ, Russell. Yeah, I will, I will just say one thing. I, I can't believe we all missed this. Um, probably the, the greatest part about being in MedStart is that Dr. Pearson like takes us out for Mexican pr food pretty frequently. <laughs> so if you're, if you're looking to get some pretty awesome Mexican food on a really great guy's dime, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is seriously the program for you. Um, you know, I, I think, I think my, my friends have, have so uh, accurately described like how easy it was for us to decide that we were going to commit to Toledo. It really, you know, you know, you Google Toledo in the rankings and it, you know, we're, it's not a top 20 school in Forbes, right? But so what sets us apart, right? And so I think we've all really outlined a lot of those great things for you guys to consider whether or not um, you get accepted to the MedStart program. We want you to always be throwing in applications for this university. And it's, it's for no other reason than uh, we want you to understand what we're telling you guys about what sets this school apart. And we, we want you to see that, um, you know, the largest student run free clinic in the country. We want you to see that. And we want you to see how um, really honed in medical school curriculum makes a student body that respects each other and cares for each other and helps each other learn as a community. And, um, and yeah, that happens a lot in MedStart, but it happens, it happens elsewhere too. So well, why apply to MedStart? Cause we just want you guys to be the leaders of that. You know, we want you guys to be the 14 or 15 or however many they choose for your class. Um, we want you guys to be the front line for all these great things, all these great changes. Um, the innovation starts in the student body and the student body really at the University of Toledo starts with MedStart. So, um, you have all of our contact info here, and we really hope that you found this super profitable. You can reach out to us at any time. Um, these emails will travel with us for the rest of our lives. <laughs> so, um, 
you know, it's been an honor talking with you guys and of course with you, Dr. Pearson. Uh, anyone else Thank wants you. to say Thanks anything? So uh, one, one last thing also. So speaking of what sets University of Toledo apart, I one of the most notable things for me ever since starting medical school is the collaboration between students. I always assumed that in medical school, all of the students would be pinned against each other. You'd all be trying to beat the curve, whatever. But I've never experienced that at Toledo. I really feel like all of the students are out to help each other. For example, Scott creates these really time intensive flashcards and is more than happy to share it with everyone because everyone really just wants each other to succeed. And so I think that's one quality about Toledo that might be unique to very few universities. And that's one reason that I'm really a great proponent for University of Toledo and the MedStart program as a whole. Thanks, Mega. Yeah, Scott's, Scott's flashcards are famous. <laughs> They're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad they help somebody. <laughs> I use them every day, so you're helping me. <laughs> Well, thanks everyone. I guess uh, we'll wrap this up and uh, I guess we'll, uh, depending on how many people watch this, we might start getting emails since our email addresses are all right here and readily available. So uh, thanks a lot. And uh, we look forward to seeing your applications uh, in the coming years. Thanks.